Imagine it is rivalry week in college football and two of the rivalry games on the slate not only have New Year's Bowl implications, but also will decide their respective conference titles. However, you are forced to watch a game that caters to the interest of a select group in your region. On November 22nd, 1980, this is a predicament fans in New England are faced with. Let's start with some context. Until 1984, the NCAA, and not respective conferences themselves, determined which games ABC would televise. Each year, ABC had to broadcast 45 regional games and 13 national TV games, with most of the nationally televised games being selected before the start of the season. In this day and age, this is hard to imagine, but this was a result of an outdated fear that television would ruin in-game attendance. On November 22nd, 1980, ABC would televise a regional slate at 12.30 Eastern Time. Number 9 Nebraska versus number 4 Oklahoma and number 10 Michigan versus number 5 Ohio State were shoo-ins to be regionally televised. The only caveat was there had to be three games on a regional slate. Because the Ivy League had to have four teams appear on ABC every year, the choice had to be an Ivy League game, since ABC had only broadcasted the Cornell-Dartmouth game earlier, this se earlier that season. The best Ivy League game that week was Harvard versus Yale, which would decide the Ivy League title. This game would be broadcasted to New England and parts of New York. Harvard and Yale was not a bad game at all, as both schools were 7-2 and two and had a lot on the line, as Yale could win the Ivy League championship outright with a win, and Harvard could clinch a share of the Ivy League with Cornell and Yale if they beat Yale. Yet this pales in comparison to two top 10 matchups, which would decide spots in the Orange and Rose Bowls. Oklahoma and Ohio State were at number four and number five, both had an outside shot at the national title if they got some help. The response to this was not good, as college football fans throughout the Northeast were livid, and Boston ABC sports anchor Don Gillis had to issue a statement of responsibility for the station's selection of the game. You're probably thinking, couldn't ABC choose to televise either Nebraska, Oklahoma, or Ohio State, Michigan nationally? And the short answer was they could not. Before the season, UCLA versus USC was selected for national television in the 3.30 Eastern time slot on November 22nd. So, fans in the Northeast were stuck with Harvard-Yale. So how did this all play out? In the end, only one of the three games at the center of our discussion was particularly exciting. Oklahoma beat Nebraska 21-17 to clinch the Big, Big 8 Conference Championship and a spot in the Orange Bowl. Oklahoma-Nebraska traded touchdowns in the last four minutes with a one-yard run, by Buster Rhymes winning the game for the Sooners. Michigan, on the other hand, beat Ohio State 9-3 to win the Big Ten and represent the conference in the Rose Bowl, and Yale beat Harvard 14-0 to win the Ivy League outright. Fun fact, that was Yale's last outright Ivy League championship until 2017. Like and subscribe for more mini-documentaries like this.